area doctors right now are enrolling patients in a clinical trial of a new device they say will revolutionize breast reconstruction. Health and Science Editor John Fowler here now to explain why patients say they gain control and freedom. John? Well, doctors tell me it promises faster return to normal life after breast surgery. Patients say they gain control over their bodies and their time. 61-year-old Marcy Burns had double mastectomy reconstructive surgery just four days ago. Doctors had discovered a tumor. The gene was in my family and it was time to, to make a more dramatic decision. Before a woman can have a reconstructive implant such as this one, her skin needs to stretch and doctors say that can be painful. Some women um, dread this process in talking to their friends who've gone through similar things. They're, they're scared of tissue expansion. Dr. Kamachi Zeidler is pioneering a still experimental device. From a Bay Area company called Air Expander, it's implanted flat and a remote lets patients control releases of CO2 from a small internal canister rather than doctors saline injections. Not having to inflict pain and introduce needles and the risk of infection. Marcy Burns used the air expander on both breasts and says without concern for doctor visits she traveled and she decided how big how fast. Kind of gave me back a little bit of control and a little bit of choice. I never thought I was going to use the word pretty in this whole experience. The reconstruction was wonderful. The expanders were a lovely shape and look very natural. The results from this clinical trial show faster, less painful expansion, less costly doctor visits, and better patient satisfaction. Doctors are now looking for more patients. If you're interested, go to our website and click on web links. Reporting live, Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2 News. Bay Area Science.